Hey guys, it's Morel Hollis, celebrity makeup artist, and this is my behind the scenes beauty moment. All right, so for this look, I wanted to make sure that I showed you all how to create flawless skin with using three different types of primer. We have a poreless primer by Becca, we have a matte primer by Krylon, and then we have a sensual skin primer by Kevin Aquan. The reason I'm using three different primers is because different areas of your skin need to be primed in different ways. And that's what creates a flawless skin by way of using less foundation. The Becca Poreless Primer we're gonna use in the areas that are super textured and the areas that are super oily. So you're gonna use it in your T-zone areas. The Perfect Matte you're going to use also in areas that are textured and maybe you have active acne or you have scarring or things of that nature, you wanna use the perfect matte. And then the sensual skin, you're gonna use all over in the areas like in your hairline, in your chin area, around your jaw, and you can actually use it under your eye. So now you're gonna let the primers dry. You wanna make sure that they do the work and they set themselves. You can use any foundation that you're used to. I'm gonna use Vanessa Myrick's Vision Cream. I happen to really love it because it's full coverage and it also sets itself. So you wanna use that all over and you can use a brush, a sponge. I prefer a beauty blender. I really love the beauty blender, especially when it's wet because it actually shears the foundation out just a bit and it travels easier on the skin. So then I use a concealer. My concealer is the Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer. It's an air whip concealer. It goes on like an airbrush. It's super pliable, especially for under the eye. And it has enough coverage that you don't even really need a color corrector to go under it. Then for contour, I happen to really love the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm. This is amazing. It has sheer to medium coverage, but it's great for contouring because it doesn't over contour and it leaves you with a natural, natural looking skin. And it also dries to a suede finish. And then I set the skin all over with Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. This is really good, it's great because it doesn't crease as much. I don't really like to bake. I think baking is kind of bad for under eye. So you wanna make sure that you kind of whisk it and just kind of powder it all over the face instead of baking. Baking is great for some things, but not for all. All right, so next is brows. Brows are one of my favorite things. So I use a couple of things for brows because I like to create dimension. So I used a darker brown pencil by Nick Townsend's line. He is amazing. He's a brow guru. He's everything and I love his brows. Then I used Stud from MAC. It's a lighter brown, but you know, it just, it has a little more richness to it because she, her hair is not dark brown. It's like an, an auburn brown. So I wanted to add a little bit of something for depth. And then I went with a flat brush and used a little bit of MAC 6 from Makeup by Mario, love his eye palette. And I brush that through the brow, amazing. And this is going to give a little bit more consistency with her brow and her hair color. So next we go to eyes. Eyes can be tricky, especially when you have textured, dark, or just off color lids. You always wanna use something close to your skin tone to use as an eyeshadow base. Because don't you hate when you put an eyeshadow color on and it does not look like the, sh the shadow? So this base is going to help create that. So I like to use Color Fixed by, this is by Danessa Myricks. Amazing, it's full of color. You can use a drop, it goes a long way. You can create a naturally brown, smoky eye. Remember, smoky eye does not have to be black. It could be just a shade darker than your natural skin tone. So after the eyeshadow base dries, I went back and I used a little bit of matte six and matte 10 from Makeup by Mario. I love this eyeshadow palette, it's one of my favorites. So then I did a tight line with black pigment right on the lash line to make the lashes appear fuller. And then I put a nice wispy lash on and coated it with mascara and just put a little bit of a highlight in the center of the eye. You can use anything, gold, peach. It really brightens the eye. The last thing, one of my favorite steps of all, sometimes when you do foundation and powder, the skin just does not look awake. And I love to go back with a cream 
bronzer or a liquid cream sheen over the skin to give it just a little bit of light. And this is from Kevin Aquan. This is their Glass Glow Face Illuminator. It is every single thing. You can use this all over. You can use it on lips, eyes, cheeks. I love to use a brush and just brush it over the skin just to make the skin look luminous. All right, next is lips. So lips are amazing. I love lips. I always love to overdraw the lips. I just love that pouty look. So you can use, everyone has their favorite lip brown. A lot of you girls love chestnut. So this is just a nice neutral brown that I use. And then I use Danessa Myrick's Luxe Cream Palette in Nudist and mix a couple of colors together to create the perfect nude. So I hope you enjoyed everything. I want you to use these routines and add them into your regular routine. And remember, it's all about primers to create perfect skin. So until next time, this was my behind the scenes beauty moment.